as a neonatologist, uh, we see um, a lot of extreme preterm infants. Um, some of those babies weigh 500 grams, uh, that's uh, uh, less than a pound. And um, uh, one of the main complications is bronchopulmonary dysplasia, uh, chronic lung disease of uh, prematurity. And um, in Canada, there are a uh, thousand babies every year that get uh, bronchopulmonary dysplasia uh, because they are born too early. Uh, their lungs are not yet fully developed and uh, to keep them alive we put them on a ventilator, uh, give them additional oxygen and uh, while these two strategies keep them alive, uh, they also cause some lung damage. And so these preterm babies are basically between a rock and a hard place. So currently there is no treatment for BPD. And um, uh, we have found that um, uh, a particular type of stem cell called mesenchymal stromal cell, or MSC, uh, can prevent lung injury in experimental lab animals. And the beauty is that we can extract these cells from the umbilical cord of babies. And uh, um, these um, cells in our experimental models in the lab uh, can prevent the lung injury uh, or to some extent even repair an already uh, damaged lung. And so now we are uh, currently uh, running a phase one trial that we call HALK, helping underdeveloped lungs with cells. Um, and uh, we're testing this uh, here at the Ottawa Hospital uh, in extreme preterm babies. And so it's a phase one trial uh, that uh, will test the feasibility and safety of uh, cord-derived mesenchymal stromal cells in preterm babies. We will be the first in North America to do this uh, clinical trial. So for me, it's uh, like a dream that comes true. There is nothing more fulfilling than uh, making a discovery in the lab and uh, bringing it all the way into patients. And um, it's a, a very long journey uh, from discovery to clinical translation, which usually takes between 10 to 20 years. While we apply for competitive uh, government grants and it gives us some scientific credibility, uh, without uh, philanthropy and support of donors, there's just no way that we can uh, bring our uh, discoveries from the bench uh, into uh, patients and uh, this is why donor support is so uh, critical so that we can go the extra mile and the whole nine yards uh, to really do everything that is necessary uh, to bring discoveries into patients. I have a passion for um, research uh, and research that matters uh, so everything we do in the lab has to ultimately uh, have the potential to get into a baby uh, to improve its outcome. And uh, of course there are setbacks, uh, but again the, the passion uh, and um, uh, when you're in the clinic and you see those babies, you know why you're doing this in the lab and you really hope that one day uh, you can make a difference uh, in the clinical setting.